Welcome back to here at Goldberg. Today we're going to be talking about the cybersecurity major. Is it worth your time, money, and efforts? Now this is something you've probably heard a great deal about. Going to cyber is the way of the future. Uh, you're going to prevent the aliens from coming down and shooting their laser beams. Uh, it was stylistically designed to be that way. And there is money to be made in cyber, but you have to be kind of cautious because a lot of folks go into IT haphazardly. They just dip their feet in the shallows, muck around a little bit. They don't make much money, and they become stagnant. Always look for the next step, ledge, whatnot, because you've got the powers that be encouraging all this cheap labor from overseas to essentially bring down salaries and benefits. That's what they've always done, so you cannot be complacent. That's the bottom line, okay? Now, when we talk about cybersecurity, it's not just the hacker. It could be you know, the penetration testers, it could be the forensics people, project managers, uh, cyber lawyers, policy makers, so you're not restricted to just being the 400-pound nerd in the living room eating Cheetos and trying to hack into Kamal Harris's uh, Snapchat or Google Maps. Uh, it, it, there's going to be a lot of different opportunities. With that being said, we look at the BLS. Uh, this is for information security analysts, which is one of the main roles. 31% growth predicted up to 2029, and that's pretty good. But as a government stats office, it's not, you know, perfectly sainted truth, and the path you take is going to matter dramatically. So let's say you don't have a college degree. Uh, military is a good option, especially the Air Force. I would stay away from the Marine Corps. Coast Guard is so-so. But the Air Force is one of the main ones focused on cyber. The Army's okay. Uh, this would be a good role, cyber systems operations. They also have a thing like cyber surety or surety. And you can do it as an officer, but of course you don't have a degree. You'll probably end up doing it as enlisted. But as part of your training, they will give you community college credits. And you should, on top of that, you should use the tuition assistance uh, to, you know, gain more classes, maybe get at least an associate's while you're in for a four-year term, and that'll just set you up well. You might also get a clearance, which you will probably need for many of these jobs. Um, the key point is to, like I said, think of it, you know, one step leading to the next. Just because you don't have a degree doesn't mean you have no option. Go in, take the ASVAB, but also play hardball. Don't be like, oh yeah, I'll take whatever, and they're, they're going to make you like a security guard or a cook. Nothing wrong with that, but that's not going to help you towards being a cyber person. Uh, if you do go to school, this is really important. It's called the NSA Centers for Cybersecurity Excellence, I believe, and this is a link from their website. But it's a database of all the schools that are considered to be kind of up to their standards. I would definitely consider checking this out. Um, you will even find some of the you know online schools are going to meet that bill. So you don't necessarily have to go to an Ivy League to get a decent education. I've even heard Western Governors University, which is kind of surprising in a way, but they supposedly have a good cyber program. The point being, you want to investigate, make sure that it's a good program, not like, well, we're trying to, you know, profit off of this, so we slap together a new major, but it's not as technical, uh, or it's just not going to meet the standards required. So... Definitely ask them about their alumni list, whoever did this major. I want to talk to them. If they say no, it's a bad sign. This is something I've seen with many schools. So always figure out if their alumni has been successful, they're going to put you in touch. If not, they're probably going to try to hide it. Uh, this is on Coursera, and there's other uh, sites of that nature. If you just want to get a sense of cybersecurity or attack something else on your resume, you have a class, New York University, and then IBM has a couple of different certificates, which can also help you just boosting what you have to offer. Of course, as a student, you can look for volunteer opportunities. You know, a lot of times being like a webmaster, even though that seems kind of antiquated as a term, or a fire department or an organization. If there is not already a cyber group in your school, create one. You know, just being the president of that, whether or not you are hacking into anything, it looks good on your resume. A lot of this stuff, you proactive, it's not hard to do because many people are complacent. That's what you're going to find. Uh, if you don't go to like a really top school, you're going to find a lot of people are just complacent. They don't care 
They're not thinking ahead. They're thinking in the now. You have to think towards the future. Um, as far as certifications are concerned, Security Plus is kind of the entry level one. I've done a video on my experience with pursuing that cert. Uh, this is one, and you can look into it. Many of these programs, you can get the certs while you're in college. They might even give you credit for them. So definitely look into that because it'll help you to not have to waste a bunch of time mucking around trying to get this when you're already working. Uh, ethical Hacker is another one that's kind of a, a pretty much become a standard, especially with the contracting in the federal government. This is a little bit pricier than doing Security Plus out of the book. You either have to have experience or you need to take a class, which I think costs like two or three grand last time I checked. So that's just something to be aware of. Um, Pen Test Plus. I've actually seen this where you can take that together with CEH and it's like guaranteed passing. By that they mean that if you fail, they will pay for another voucher, but only one voucher after that. So that's just something to consider. Uh, this one, CYSA Plus, is the analyst certification. That's a little bit less common, but as you spend enough time in the field, you'll probably end up picking it up if only to renew your previous certifications, because most of these are only good for like three years, and then you either have to take some classes or get a new cert or sit for the exam again, which no one really wants to do. So it's just something to consider. And then you've got CISPI, which is considered, you know, essentially the flagship or was for a while. Some others are up and coming, like I think it's CASP Plus is, a, is one that started to compete with CISPI. Uh, CISP is more of the management one, but it is very difficult. It's a very long exam. And if you don't have enough experience before taking it, you only get an associate certificate until you accrue all that additional years of service. Uh, CASP, from what I know, is a little bit more technically oriented, but, you know, it really comes down to the person. I would not jump and try to do CISP right away, but if you've gotten a couple of them and you're good at them, you might want to just knock it out because it is a pain to do this stuff while you're working because you have to study and take classes and whatnot. So um, that's just kind of a roundup of cybersecurity. It is a good option, but you have to have a plan and you shouldn't just go for whatever is available. Look for the quality because uh, time is money and uh, cyber, especially IT in general, it changes very rapidly. So just because you see something now and it says cyber on it, it could be outdated. That's why you really have to hold their feet to the fire when you're looking into a college to make sure this stuff's going to be relevant and it's not just there for you to make a quick buck off of a couple of wide-eyed, you know, counter hacker hopeful uh, that they just want to be successful and you're just trying to rip them off. So just a word of advice. Uh, any other topics you want to see covered, just drop them below.